Hi, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about solutions to the differential equations. Okay, so let's start now. So we have a definition here because we are interested to get the solution of a differential equation. So let us first define the solution. So a solution or integral of the ordinary differential equations, f of x, y of x, y prime of x, and until y to the n of x. When we say y to the n, it's the n, der n derivative. That is equal to zero on a closed interval. A, B is a continuous function. So take note of this. It is a continuous function Y of X such that these, the end kinds of derivatives exist and satisfy the equation for all values of the independent variable. So ano nga ulit yung independent variable? Let's re recall on that. So for a differential equation, yung mga independent variable, yun yung mga, uh, let's say for example, meron tayong equations like this. And let's say, mga ganun. Uh, kunyari ito. Cosine t ome uh, omega t equals zero. So this i here is the dependent variable kasi siya yung dinididerivative and that is with respect to t. So that means this t here is the independent variable. That happens to be on the interval and the graphs of the solutions of the differential equations are called the integral curves. Again, this is becomes a solution on the closed interval a, B, if it is a continuous function. Yeah. And that would satisfy the given equation. And these integral curves is a representations or family of curves representing those solutions. Okay, so before we will dig in so much with the solution to differential equation, let us consider first this kind of intuition. Tingnan natin, yung ln of y plus y squared, kunyari this is minus integral of e to the negative x squared dx. So this is evaluated from 0 to x. And this is equal to zero. So note that in this case, your y is greater than zero. Okay. So these things here, so this guy here is actually a solution to a differential equation. Our differential equation is 1 plus 2y squared times y prime minus y e to the negative x squared equals zero. Okay. Now, how do we do that? If we will have take the derivative, so we will differentiate this guy here with respect to x. Amang yari, this is d of dx, that is ln of y plus y squared minus the integral of 0 to x of e to the negative x squared dx. So di ba amang yari dito, this is actually 1 over y dy dx and plus. 2y dy dx minus e to the negative x squared. Kasi in this case, we are actually taking the derivative of this naman with respect to x. So, ang mangyayari, this one here is considered constant. Okay, so this is equal to 0. So, in other words, this becomes dy over dx times, kung tatanggalin ko yan, this is 1 plus 2y squared over y. Pinapactor out ko lang yung dy dx. Tapos eto siya, nag add And this is equal to e to the negative x squared. Which implies that this is dy over dx, which is equal to y over 1 plus 2y squared e to the negative x squared. Okay. And so, kung i-compare mo siya dito, if sab kasi sabi natin this one here, is a solution to this. So, it try natin. If we will be solving for the y prime, di ba y prime is equal to, ililipat ko to, so magiging positive y, e to the negative x squared, all over 1 plus 2y squared. Di ba ito yun? So, that is actually the intuition of the solution to the differential equations. Okay. So, with that, let us formally define general solution. Okay. So, a function of this form, is called the general solution to the differential equation. That differential equation is given by this in some two-dimensional domain. So two-dimensional yung domain natin. Uh, this domain. 
if for every pair of x, y in the domain, there exists a value of a constant c. So may mahanap kang value ng constant c such that the function of this form satisfies the equation y prime f of x. So, and that solution to this differential equation can be defined implicitly by this or this of the given differential equation. So in this case, this is actually our general integral and this is our potential function. Again. Now from that, let's say we are given with dy dt plus a of d y equals zero. So kung titingnan natin, pwede natin to write as dito, di ba? This is dy dt all over y equals negative a of t. Yan. Now observe that from this, kung titingnan natin, this is actually d of dt ln of y of t. And that is equal to negative a of t. Yan. And this implies that our ln of y of t equals the negative of the integral of a of t, dt. Tama ba? And this is plus some the constants, let's say c1. So if I'm going to take the... Di ka, kasi naka ln yung kaliwa, di ba? So kung ititake ko yung... If I apply the Euler number, so yung ibig sabihin y of t... Ganyan, this is equal to e to the negative integral of a of t dt plus c1. Okay, so tanggalin muna natin yung c1 natin dyan. So this will now be our general solution on the form like this. So this is our general solution. So let us consider for example, find the general solution of the equation like this. So ang dali lang, kasi kung titignan natin, we have, so let's formally uh, answer this, we have a of t equals 2t, tama? So ito yung kanina, di ba? If we have of this form, ganyan, ito na yung general solution natin. So ang dali lang, kasi kung titignan mo, naka-form naka na siya eh. So ibig sabihin yung a of t natin is 2t. So dahil 2t yan, mangyayari, our y of t here is equal to c times e to the negative integral of a to the t. Tama ba? dt, yan yung formula. And this is equal to c e to the negative t squared. Tapos na. Kasi this is actually negative integral of 2t dt. So if I will take the integral of that, this is... Tama ba? Yeah. So this is now our general solution. Okay, let's have another example. Find the solution of the initial value problem dy dt plus sine of dy equals 0. So your initial value is sine of 0 equals 3 over 2. To solve on this, we have... So ano yung a of t natin? Which is very obvious, this is sine of t. So ibig sabihin, y of t natin, and then our initial condition, that y sub 0 in this case is 3 over 2. That's e to the negative integral of sine of s, ds, kumbaga, and that is 0 to t. So what is this? 3 over 2. What is integral of sine of s, ds? So this is 3 over 2 e to the cosine t. Tama ba? Minus 1. Kasi kung i-evaluate natin to integral of sine of s, ds, 0 to t. So that is equal to cosine of s from 0 to t. So that's equal to cosine of t minus cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So dito yung lalabas. So therefore, this is the general solution. Okay, so we have another example. So for any arbitrary constant c, show that this function given by this, cx plus c over the square root of 1 plus c squared, is the solution to the nonlinear differential equation y minus xy prime equals y prime all over the square root of 1 plus y prime squared. So let's take the derivative of y first. So taking the derivative of y, so that this is how we formally write this solution. We have, this is y prime 
equals C. Tama. And this thing here, this whole thing here is constant. So, magiging zero yan. So, eto na lang yung matitira. What's next? Okay. So, substituting. So, dapat naka-explain natin yung lahat ng steps natin. Substituting y equals C of Cx, sorry, plus C all over square root of 1 plus C squared. And your y prime is equal to C. Into the differential in equation, we have... So, anong mangyayari sa differential equation natin? Ano nga yung differential equation natin? This is y minus x y prime. So, papalitan natin yun ng y as cx plus c minus the square root of 1 plus c squared minus xy prime. So, your y prime is c. So, this is equal to xc, which is equal to y prime. So, that is actually c all over the square root of 1 plus c squared. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, pag isubstitute natin, nakuha na natin. Thus, this proves the claim. Kasi magkapareho na sila eh. Tingnan mo. Yan. Okay, let's have a one last example for this video. Show that the function of this form, so your function y of x equals x times the quantity 1 plus the integral of cosine of x all over x dx from 1 to x is a solution to the following initial value problem. So your IVP here is this, xy prime minus y equals x cosine of x, your initial condition y of 1 equals 1. Okay, let's double check on that. So how do we show the proof? We have... So, ano nga yung, uh, let's solve for the y prime of x first. So, that means i-integrate natin to. Um, this is equal to, remember, sa scratch lang to ha. Hindi to part of solution. Di ba, masusulat natin yan as y of x equals x plus x. Parang dinidistribute mo yung x. Tama ba? And so, this is 1 plus the integral of cosine of x dx over x from 1 to x. So, this is derivative of a product. So, derivative muna natin to. Ito yung kukopyahin. Plus x times, what's the derivative of the integral cosine x dx? So, it's just cosine of x over x. Nawawala yung integral. Okay. So, ano mangyayari dito? This is equal to 1 plus cosine of x. Iuna ko lang to. Ta-cancel yan. Plus the integral of cosine of x over x dx from 1 to x. Hence, ano yung differential equation natin? xy prime minus y equals x cosine x. Diba da, yan yun dapat? So, ito yung ipoprobe natin. So, xy prime minus y. So, mangyayari this is x times 1 plus cosine of x plus the integral of 1 of cosine of x over x dx from 1 to x. Tama. Minus. What is our y again? Our y is x plus x integral of cosine x over x dx from 1 to x. Yan. So alam natin makakancel kasi ito eh. x times this one is minus x times this one is actually cancel yan. Yan. Okay, so ang matitira na, this one also is positive x kasi ito negative, so cancel yan. So ang matitira natin is cosine of x. May x pa dyan kasi nag-multiply. So actually, we have now proven the claim. So ito yun. Okay, so lalagyan pa natin ng ano, pa-bonus. So the initial condition also satisfied the equation. Kasi kung titingnan mo, di ba yung initial condition natin is y of 1 equals 1. So, ibig sabihin, y of 1, kung papalitan ko yan, what is our y of x nga ulit? So, magiging 1 times 1 plus the integral of cosine of x over x dx from 1 to 1. Diba ito magiging 0 to? Kasi from 1 to 1, that's the same interval. Yung interval mo wala. So, nagma-minus ka. So, this is 1. That's it. So if you have any questions or clarification, 
please let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you and have a great day.